Hey there fans, welcome back. I've got another episode for you. It's on the Marvel character. This is a repeat, Captain Marvel. Um, this is probably my favorite Captain Marvel that, that, they, that Lego has designed. I think they've done seven or eight now. They've done a couple based on Endgame. Lots of, at least three or four comic variants. A couple from the Marvels and a couple from Captain Marvel, the, the movie. And this is one of the ones based on the comics, or rather, this is actually the 2016 version. So this one came out, I'll give you 360. This one actually came out in a set, the Avenget Space Mission. And I believe that set was one of the few sets, I think that might be the actually the only set, from Avengers Assemble, which is that TV show that ran, I believe it was 2015 to 2018, I could be wrong. It might have been 2019 or 2020 when that was ended. I watched like three or four seasons, and I think I watched three seasons, and then I stopped. Um, I stopped when they introduced her and Black Panther into the mix. I just wasn't watching the show at that time. Not because I didn't want to, just because I was watching other things. But yeah, um, this is a fantastic figure. First of all, I love her dart, her uh, short hair. That's, I think, one of the most unique Lego um hairstyles that they've done for her and it looks really nice i do have the 2020 uh, i think it's 2021 captain marvel the one from those avenger sets like the just like i think it's just meant to be a uh, the newer comic design i'm not a comics reader so i can't tell you which version this is but i know that this one is the one i did have and I do like it a lot. I like the blue and the red. It's very comic booky for sure. I think the MCU Captain Marvel minifig is definitely my least favorite um, from the first Captain Marvel. I just think the face doesn't match and the hair is pretty lame and the costume itself is pretty average. But I really like this fig. Um, I like the faces, I like the hair. Uh, even though the hair is the same, I do like the blonde look a lot better and I gave her the little power blast, and this one really is great. But what I like about this this one is that it is the, it's really much, pretty much the standard Captain Marvel look. So this is 2016. I believe it's also from the comics of that year, and it has the dark blue color scheme, which looks great with the red, obviously, and the gold highlights. Um, I gave her an accessory, and that set, in the Avenged Yet Space Mission set, comes with a super awesome Iron Man, like a space suit version, and space cap, and Hyperion, another really great figure, and Thanos as well. That set alone is one of the coolest Marvel sets that they've done. And that set, she doesn't come with any accessory. I decided to give her just a little bit of a flame accessory, just to make her stand out a little bit more to show her powers. And one thing that I really like about this figure is the fact that you can actually switch out the head We'll get to that later. This is actually the alternate head. I decided to give her the battle head because um, she's activating her powers and she's got her mask over her face. And it just has a really, it's a very distinctive look for her. I, I really like it. Her details are fairly simple compared to other um, MCU, or I guess other Marvel minifigs, but it has enough detail to where it's very nice to see. First of all, I really love her sash. It's printed really nicely with the red against the dark blue. My only real complaint about this fig is I kind of wish that the sash would have been brighter red or maybe they should have gotten a physical piece to go on her waist because I think that would have been sick to have a really like physical fabric skirt to be, to go over her um, torso, over her little legs. I just think that would have been really cool. I don't know how that would have looked. But it would have been cool, um, maybe a cool idea. Maybe they tried it and just didn't work, right? But the staff looks great. You got the gold belt, uh, and you got the zipper and the awesome, you know, signature captain look right here for her star on her chest. And it's a very nice uniform. She got the, the abs going on there. Interestingly enough, there is printing on the, on the uh, left leg, but not on the right. Um, it's your left here. But her left leg here doesn't have printing. It's a little bit interesting. I just find it kind of fascinating. Um, I like the dark blue look. It's very nice with the red gloves. It's very cool to see. 
And I just like the fact that her hair is bright blonde in this case. It's very cool. And I do have the head to show you. So here's the head. In this case, they actually use Wonder Woman's head. I believe it was from the 2012 sets. Um, and then she has the alternate face. It's really just this um, face, except it's with the mask on. It's very cool. Um, the head that I know, or the thing that I know that has this head, is actually Satel Sean from the Old Republic Lego Star Wars line. Amazing minifig. And she has the same, you know, face, head design. Um, and I think it works for Captain Marvel here. Uh, let me see if I can get take her apart a little bit to show you. There is no um, alternate head printing for this side, but I will take it off just to show you what it looks like with the other design, or just the the head swapped and it looks great it looks very nice you can see it's very cool i'm just gonna put this head here maybe i'll just put it right there I mean, behind her for now but yeah i love the look of this for her for young carol younger and it it's very nice i love the hair with this suit it just looks great i like the shorts design and i the to be honest, I associate this hairpiece with Hawkeye because he had, in the Age of Ultron sets, he had this hairstyle. And I just think it looks great for her. And the alternate face is really just the same uh, mouth and design as the masked look. It just has her comic eyes over that. But it looks really good. And that's what that looks like with that hair. I'm a big fan of this fig. This is actually the most expensive Captain Marvel fig that you can get right now. It's about 15 to 20 bucks. So not the cheapest thing ever, but if you can get her with the head, the extra head, I would definitely do so. And probably definitely the best Captain Marvel, in my opinion, my favorite and the best one that I think that they've done. I think my second favorite probably would have to be either this 2021 or I think it might actually be the Marvel's version. I think that one looks really sick. Um, but yeah, that's about it for this one. Not like a ton to talk about. Our details are great. The dark, the color scheme is very consistent, which I really appreciate. And I'm, uh, I'm surprised, but honestly, you know, glad that you guys picked this. You guys voted for Captain Marvel to be, uh, to be reviewed. Um, thanks for that. I appreciate it. Um, let me know what you think of Captain Marvel as a minifig. Do you guys prefer the comic design? Do you prefer the MCU look? Or do you prefer, you know, a totally custom look for her? And do you think they've designed a perfect Captain Marvel minifig? Um, it depends on your tastes, I think. But there's definitely a favorite out there for you. And there's a set out there for you if you want her. Um, but that's about it. Let me know what you think. Uh, let me know what you think of the movie Captain Marvel or the Marvels or, um... Just the comic books in general, do you think she's a girl boss or do you think she's a strong character? And what do you think of Carol Danvers in general? And uh, do you think she could be done better? Let me know. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Apologies for the, the shorter length, but I really like this fig. And I think um, I think you should definitely, uh, definitely pick her up if you're a fan. Um, that's about it. Thank you once again. Have a great day. And I'll see you later.